Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about momentum. So what is momentum? Momentum, which is symbolized with this letter P, is the product, meaning times, of, mo of, of mass and velocity. That is all that it is. So let's say we have an object, let's say it's a car, busy traveling to the right, and it has a velocity of one meter per second, and it has a mass of five kilograms, then we could say that the momentum of the car is its mass, so that's going to be five, times by its velocity, which is one, and that's going to be equal to five. Now with science, we need to give directions and units. The units of momentum are very easy. We know that mass is measured in kilograms and velocity is measured in meters per second to the negative one. And so, thankfully, those are going to be the units of momentum. So over here, you would say five kilograms per meter per second to the negative one. And then, of course, we would have to say to the right or we would say east, depending on the type of question that was asked. So here with the object on the top, we could say that its momentum is equal to mass times velocity, which would be equal to 200 multiplied by its velocity, which is 3. And that's going to give us 600 kilograms per meter per second, and then always give a direction. The object at the bottom, well, that one's momentum is going to be equal to the mass times by the velocity, and that's going to be equal to 200 kilograms per meter per second to the minus one, but for that one you would just say left. So that is all that you need to remember, that when someone talks about momentum, you have to remember that that is simply the mass of the object multiplied by its velocity. Okay, so you're going to use that a lot, so just get used to that, and then remember that the mass must always have units of kilogram, Velocity is always meters per second, and so together, momentum has the units of kilogram meter per second.